Today, boys, we have another versus. Instead of the Mark 6R, which Steve has, we have got a Mark 7R. Ryan's just recently purchased this. He did have Fiesta ST before that. We're going to get into that, but let's first of all start with the comparison. So, modification-wise, you already know mine's got a lot of spec. There's plenty of videos on my channel already stating it. I'll give you a brief overview. Running about 320 brake. Um, VT 330R hybrid turbo, stage rear intercooler, turbo back exhaust system, running semi stick tyres, big, big brake kit, and BC racing coilovers, and a stripped out rear. It's got plenty of spec. There's not too much going into on this video, but I have plenty of other ones. Now, Ryan's just recently purchased this Golf R, um, so it's, it's stock. <laughs> yeah, it's literally stock. Well, um, go into like sort of what you found out about your ECU. Um, so yeah, I picked up the car and I loved it and whatnot. And then I don't know. We went for a drive with Harry in his A45, who we've done a video with, and um, we did a, a race. And Harry didn't pull on me. It was a level, neck and neck. And then the yeah, course, that so was, that is 300 brake standard. Yeah, it's supposed to be. And an A45 is 360 standard. Yeah. But Harry's done plenty of mods for it to be a bit more than that. It's probably pushing like yeah. 375, 370, something yeah. like that. But yet. Yeah, that was still neck and neck with it, which is very strange. Yeah, it was, it was neck and neck up until about 110, 120. On well, an roads. airfield, this was yeah, we had an airfield. roads only. Um, and then he starts, then he starts to grab me. Um, Did you say you button. found like marks on the ECU box or something? We found marks on the ECU, but I don't really think it was because they these are mapped more often than not through the OBD. So I just think I sort of jumped to conclusions when I looked at the ECU. But yeah. it, could, it could still be, I don't know. It does look like it's been toyed around with. It certainly is. Yeah, a like for it to be keeping up with that. Like, a Golf R is a very powerful car and it's got full wheel drive and that, but it's literally like a, a, it's like the A45 compared to it would be like a stage one yeah. Golf R competing at that sort of level. But yet that was still there. So it could be mapped. We literally have no idea. There's no way of returning unless you've probably got it plugged in. Yeah. Or well, put it on gonna, a dyno, obviously. I was, I was gonna go get an independent dyno, but. It's I don't know whether it's worth it or not. Yeah, so we pretty much think it has a stage one. We're not 100 sure, but we're pretty much going to say it's got stage one because a 60 no brake, yeah, six, a yeah, 60 brake difference in cars and it's been neck and neck with it being very similar. If anything, that's probably lighter. It is it's very, very, very strange. So um, obviously it's completely standard now, but what sort of ideas and thoughts are going forget of what modification you're going to do <laughs> to it in the future? So I want it looking the way I want it to look first before I touch the engine bay. So I want to do like carbon mirror caps, the um, like the S1 spoiler lip, um, that in carbon as well. 19 inch OZ uh, Ultra Ligueras, um, front splitter, rear diffuser similar to Steve's. Yeah, user. yeah. Um, obviously I'll put it on springs. I'd, I'm really, I'm sort of that close to putting it on an air. But I don't know if I want to and it's a lot of money. Um, but that will be... Something to consider in the future. You think of like Miltec exhaust and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So performance-wise, I'm looking at the. Um, oh, what's the intake? It's either the Revo cone filter intake or the. Um, is it Arline Racing? I don't know. I don't or, know golf. So I yeah, Fiesta. Carbon, carbon intake. I think it's a panel filter. Um, run a Miltec non-resonated race version, non-valved exhaust. Um, Obviously, D cat, and then stage to it. Let's see where we go. Yeah, so there's a lot of thoughts to it. It's pretty much going to be like, like how Steve started his. Like it started slowly, but now he's like just got all out race car. But like from standard, they are like beautiful looking cars, four wheel drive. Like they've got a lot of spec already in them. Standard, like even just the rear of the car, it like just looks aggressive, and it's like when it launches, it just squats. The quad tips just look savage. It's the one thing I don't know about Steve's car. I think the quad tips just look sick on these. But yeah, like there's a lot of potential for this. But we won't bother you with any more bore you with any more spec. So without showing you any footage of what it's gonna be like driving wise, because we haven't done anything yet. The retail on the Golf R is about 22, 23 grand if you buy it outright. Yeah, ST I'm saying about 
12 grand for my spec ST at least because it's the lowest spec. So 11, 12, that's 22, 23. So it's a big margin in difference of money where I have probably spent close up to 10 grand now to get it to where it's at. Obviously, that is more or less with the Focus RS region. This is more of a Golf G If this was a Golf GTI, it'd be more of a level from my car standard. But the R is obviously quite high up there with like running with the big leagues. But I'm not going to bore you with any more context no more. Um, show you a couple of clips of the cars and then we'll get straight into either a launch, a roll in, or maybe I might throw a break in, in there. Just stuff like that, and then we'll do an overview at the end. We would do sound, but as it's got a stock exhaust, it doesn't sound <laughs> the greatest. Yeah, it's extremely. Yeah, deep. it sounds yeah. nice, but it's just like. It's stock. It doesn't even it's got that nice. stock, sir. It it's got a nice <laughs> little on launch. It sounds nice when <laughs> it's launch. sitting on revs. But yeah, we won't be rid of that. <laughs> so yeah, we're just cracking with the video. Okay, boys. So we're about to go and have two little balls. We're gonna do from like 30, 40 to 70. Um, never done a pull against each other before, so it'd be interesting to see the power differences. Obviously, he's got DSG and four wheel drive. I've got front wheel drive with semi slicks and burnouts. So that's my um, that's my uh, compromise. But obviously my car is a lot lighter, different types of power delivery. Should be very good to see the difference in each other's cars. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps a lot for you. So I'm gonna go out there, get ready. Hopefully get some space, and we're gonna do two runs. If we get clear runs, that is, and just see what we get. And hopefully you guys will be able to see a bit more of the power difference between the cars. So. Let's get to it boys. Okay, so we just finished the little three pulls you just saw. Um, the outcome was very, like, very, very much next to each other. Obviously, we don't have any idea what sort of, if that's got a map or what, or if it's just freakly fast for like a stock goal far. But it's definitely producing more than the stock one would. But obviously, it has got the four wheel drive, it's got a lot more extras. But then also, like I said earlier, my car is a lot lighter and it does have more reason to be fast, but DSG, manual, like, they're two completely different cars from the opposite spectrums, but it's just interesting to see how they do. They was literally neck and neck. Um, we can't find anywhere to do a drag racing pole because there's just nowhere big enough, which is, like, safe, and we don't even get up to, like, high speeds at all anyway, but it's just nowhere that it'll be decent, and to be honest, we all know, four-wheel drive with launch control is always, always going to beat my front wheel drive burnout fiesta and i'm useless at drag racing anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a brake test because i've got six pot tarox what brakes you got like what standard names 
think they're one pot. We we don't know. We should probably got the spec. <laughs> they might be six pot. I don't know. But no, they're definitely one pot. I reckon. Yeah. So we're gonna just the brakes are fat for stock. Like I'll show you the stock brakes. I think I might have had a clip of them play, but for stock brake size, they are pretty massive. Like the rears are bigger than my stock fronts. Maybe even as big as my big brake kit on the front. So it should be interesting to see. We're literally just gonna go at 30 mile an hour, hit the brakes, see how quick we stop, and then we'll mark it, and then we'll probably wrap up the video and see what you prefer. So yeah, we're gonna do that now. So hopefully you guys will find this interesting. I'm sorry we can't do track race, it's just not safe. Okay, so Ryan's getting his car. I'm gonna stand on this blue train here. He's gonna reach 40 mile an hour. This is like Back to Future, and then he's gonna go pish, fly through there, back to future, right? Alright, maybe not. So he's gonna go. I've got the marker. I stand here, he breaks on me at 40 mile per hour, I mark him, and then I do it, and then we have a very good comparison. So I'm gonna crack on. Alright, now I mark. So that is that. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, sweet. I told you to hit 40 mile an hour easy enough. Did I break early? No, you just like, you went 40 and he's like, bang. All right, so that was the distance. Now it's my turn and then we'll find the winner. Easy. I feel pretty confident that I'm gonna beat him in this. Simply because I beat, I beat Brand's A4500 in brakes and see he's going far. And everyone knows, it doesn't matter how fast the car goes, it matters how fast it breaks. That's just a fact. No one cares about speed these days anyway. So you pointed me to go more in the middle. Am I good? Alright, let's go boys. I was half a, like half a drain later than him. That's just embarrassing. I thought I was actually going to win the braking. That's the thing I was really confident in. <laughs> oh fuck it. I blame the discs. That's it. It's the discs. All right. Anyway, we'll wrap that up here. So all I'm going to say is, if you had the money, say we gave you like what 22, 23 grand. 22, 23 grand. We gave you, if we gave you like 22 grand. Would you pay 10 grand for Fiesta ST and then do it up like I have? Obviously not the exact same because everyone's got their own personal opinion and touch. Or would you put all that money into buying a Golf R? Or would you pay 20 grand to Golf R and then pay more to modify it? But obviously it's a lot more than running costs. I guess Master Grand is a lot more than Fiesta. Yeah, what was the difference? Can you always stop Fiesta and that stop Golf R? So my stop Fiesta ran anywhere between 25 to about 35 miles per gallon. By the, by the time I gave it back, it was on 32.8 miles per gallon. What's that? Um, that, running at the moment, is 18.6. 18.6, yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously... That's, that's me, just got it, ragging it. Yeah, appreciating the car for what it is. Yeah. yeah, the thing is, these cars are so juicy, and the maintenance is quite high, and the service is high. But at the same time, it's you're getting a lot of car for your money as well. Yeah. Like, it is... That's what I mean, like, if, it, if, if that was a GTI, then this would be a lot more similar of comparison, but this is a lot more of a higher league and prestigious car to own, like a Golf R. They are, they are very beautiful cars, I do love them. A lot better than Mark 6, Mark 6 dead, dead. So he's dead. But yeah, um, Ryan, did you want your Instagram shouted out? Yeah. You'll have your new Instagram yeah, name by then, because it's getting private then, plates. Yeah. So I get my private plate literally the night we're filming this. So, R7 underscore XYN. Check this bad boy out. What's Boom. Watch this space, make it mad. All right, so yeah, I'll wrap it up here, boys. Let us know in the comments down below who you thought won. Like the video if you'd like to see more comparison stuff like this, more like driver videos and anything. Make sure you smash the subscribe button to stay up to date. 
and check out some of my other verses with the Mark 6R and the A45 AMGs. So I'll leave it as that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.